Hi everyone, my name's Dan Grech and I'm an outdoor adventure kind of guy who believes dreams are meant to be lived. A few years ago, with not much money and no experience, I drove a little Jeep Wrangler from the top of Alaska to the bottom of Argentina. I drove 40,000 miles through 16 countries. Along the way I learned Spanish, met all kinds of interesting people and had the time of my life. Time of my life so far. Now, after years of planning, dreaming and saving money, I've built my new Jeep Wrangler to drive 80,000 miles around Africa. This time, I'm going to bring you along for the adventure. I'd like to welcome you to The Road Chose Me. It was just a few years ago I set out to drive from Alaska to Argentina in a stock Jeep. I had a camp stove, a little tent and a bag of clothes. I'd never done anything like that before and I didn't even speak Spanish. Nor did I have a GPS or a cell phone. Kayaking through icebergs in Alaska was surreal and something I'll never forget. It took a while to sink in but once I'd been on the road about six months, I realized this wasn't a vacation, this was my life. In Guatemala, I poked lava with a stick, and then in Panama, I loaded the Jeep in a shipping container and shipped it around the Darien Gap into Colombia. In Ecuador, I climbed a 20,000 foot active volcano, and then spent months hiking through the Andes of Peru, Argentina, and Chile. There were no border helpers, no sponsors, no camera crew, no support vehicles. Just the Jeep and a big sense of adventure. I blogged and took a lot of photos on that trip, but I only filmed one video, driving Bolivia's road of death. Sorry, I'm gonna hold the camera on one hand and drive with my other hand. That's a gear change. So just bear in mind, this is a two lane road. I just passed the truck going the other direction. My little Jeep was the perfect vehicle for the job. It never broke down once and took me to some amazing places. That being said, I also learned a lot about what I want in a future vehicle and where I might go. At the end of the trip, my bank account was totally empty. So I knew I had to sell the Jeep, fly back to Canada and get a real job. I wound up in Whitehorse in the Yukon, where I found all kind of adventures on the weekend when I wasn't sitting at a desk filling my savings account. While I was out exploring on the weekends, I spent a lot of time thinking and dreaming about where I wanted to go next. The more I thought about it and the more time I spent in the north, I realised I was looking for adventures that would get me as far away from civilization as possible. And so, after years of planning, dreaming, and saving money, I've decided I'm going to drive right around the outside of Africa. I'll start in Morocco in the northwest and make my way south along the coast. I'll drive roughly 40,000 miles and enter about 15 countries on my way down to South Africa. In South Africa, I'll resupply and regroup and then set out to drive north on the east coast again covering roughly 40,000 miles and approximately 12 countries. So the plan is set. In the next episode, I'll show you my criteria for choosing a vehicle and how I turn it into my house on wheels to live in for the next two years. I hope you'll join me for the ride.